Hey super buddies, so guess what? I still got this line over here, but it's a little bit more on this side than it was yesterday, so like I guess that's an improvement. So, I was watching a video called The Cute Apocalypse, okay, and this by Hank Green, he's one of the vlog brothers, and one of his vlogs he talked about the cutest things, and then the next video he talked about the cute apocalypse or whatever it's called, and how cute things are gonna take over the world and we're all gonna die or something like that. Okay, so it's like a real issue around. So you know, one thing, I have a theory that the cute apocalypse is not exactly something we need to worry about. And the reason being is because if cute things are taking over the world, then why is it that all our presidents have always been, like, fat, ugly people? But lots of you would argue with that, saying, like, well, Obama's not a fat, ugly person. Well, you know, he's not old and fat, but, you know, he's got big ears and purple lips, okay? So I wouldn't exactly call that cute. So there is my theory, okay, I don't think we're really in that much trouble with, you know, cute things taking over the world. The one thing we do need to worry about is the Ropocalypse. No, that's right, the Ropocalypse, I talked about that a long time ago. Well, actually, I also talked about it just recently, and it's a real issue I think we need to talk about. It's Ropocalypse. Robots will soon take over the world, and there's nothing you can do about it. Today, I will talk about smart houses, okay, because smart houses are the things we need to worry about. Well, what is a smart house? If you don't know what a smart house is already, I will tell you exactly what a smart house is. Okay, a smart house is basically a house that does everything for you, okay? Like, you want a milkshake, and you're like, smart house, get me a milkshake, and all of a sudden a milkshake will pop out of the kitchen counter, and, you know, cool stuff like that. Like, it is the house of the future, the house everybody wants. Well, I'll tell you one thing, I don't think you really want that house. Because... The house has got the AI, okay, that's artificial intelligence, and, you know, you would think, like, well, why would I want a house with artificial intelligence, and it can learn about me, and about my weaknesses, and then try to kill me later on? Well, I will tell you why you would want AI in a smart house, okay? So, because it needs to learn about you, it needs to learn about your needs, you know, what you want, it needs to learn about where you're going, so that way it knows what to do. But once you get a robot to learn on its own, then it's hard to get it to stop learning, okay? And it'll learn, learn, learn until finally it's just like, okay, I hate you and you're gonna die, okay? And when you're living inside of a house that's trying to kill you, it gets very difficult to live. So I will tell you, okay, there's like only really way to survive a smart house that's trying to kill you. So when you design your smart house, okay, you have to make a room that the smart house doesn't even know about, okay? Don't even drive into the blueprints, okay? It's just an extra room, and it's a safe room with extra thick, like, concrete walls, you know, bolted door, and it's got, you know, lots of food in there for you to, like, survive, food and water, and you just kind of, like, wait around a little bit, or you can also build a tunnel that goes from that room to the outside, so that way you can go right into that room and go outside, and the house doesn't know where you are at all. And there you go, okay? So that's how you survive a smart house, okay? It's pretty tough to battle a house that's trying to eat your face, but that's about it. So that being said, I will leave you by telling you to follow me on Google+, Plus, Twitter, and Facebook. Uh, okay, the super group has moved from Facebook to Google+, Plus. okay? So all of you who like me on Facebook are still part of my super group. And if you want to like me on Facebook, okay, I will not stop you. But... Lots of people complain about Facebook, and now it's Google+, so go to Google+. And since I do these things every single day, I will see you tomorrow.